Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific and crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle one glance and you know where we are it is one of the most recognizable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, in the normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. the whistle and here we go Jim which player is best equipped for this game yeah Kevin De Bruyne he's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see and that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess he generally likes to keep things simple taking as few touches as possible but making every one of them count I've got a feeling he's going to be a real handful for the opposition here Getting the best out of him will count for so much. And it's De Bruyne. And that's a foul. Three kicks been given. And it's played forward. Kovacic comes out on top in a really physical duel. Real Madrid, the majority of possession so far, it is still early. Gets a whip on it. Oh, that's nice. Danger averted for now. Alaba. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Forget it. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Vinicius Junior, Valverde, now surely, now can he capitalise? Greenish, he's on a charge down the left, going through, chance! Greenish delivers, Alaba attempts a clearance. Forward it goes, and very well to intervene. 
And it's Grealish. Kovacic. Looking to get within range. Tries to get it forward quickly. for his opponent. Manchester City have made some interesting moves in getting their fullbacks to tuck in. A bright approach, isn't it? Yeah, so many fullbacks now just want to get forward, Peter. Still waiting for the first goal. Tony Kroos. Kroos is fouled. Team has broken through. Certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to to go on and win. The intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score nil nil. So we're already into the second period. Real Madrid can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Alaba. Across the field it goes. Kovacic. Rodri drives it forward. Good ball. We're not going to make any further progress now. Alaba. Valverde. on here, Grealish drives it forward, and it's dealt with by the Russian keeper, Ruben Diaz, it's it back, De Bruyne, no breakthrough and well into the second period, it is still anyone's game, looks to thread it through, now it's Grealish, corner it is. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Up to meet it! In it goes! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. 
Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Valverde. And it's played forward. Vinicius Junior. Has a hit! There was plenty of power on that. Greenish. Bernardo Silva goes looking. Greenish. Greenish delivers. Plays it back. Bernardo Silva has a goal! Good try. Now club could so easily have been different. Bernardo Silva certainly could have and should have made more of that. De Bruyne. Foden. Floats one over. Greenish. Greenish! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. De Bruyne battles to win it back. Rodri. Well, if something's going to happen, it's going to have to happen now. Well, it's looking like too little too late, but they are giving it all they have. Manchester City are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Foden. Kyle Walker. Rodri. Greenish. He's made his mark on this game. Goes long, looking for space out wide. Lucas Vasquez with the clearance. Grealish. And the referee brings it to a close. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Well, there's no shortage of effort and commitment from them. They were just undone by that second-half goal. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.